Jasmine, what are you working on? Oh, my asthma log. What's that? Well, I have to breathe in some tube and then put some numbers in for my doctor. It's supposed to tell me something about my asthma, I don't know. Well, why are you doing it now? Well, sometimes I forget to do it when I'm supposed to. It's like, it's a chore. It's so boring and dumb. Well, aren't you afraid that the numbers will look bad? Nah, I know how to make the numbers look good, but not too good. So I'm guessing you're not really learning anything about your asthma from this. Mm, no. I mean, it's not like anyone explains anything with this. I just, I'm expected to go along with it and then I get yelled at for not doing some boring breathing exercises. Hi, I'm Cliff Dasho. I'm a professor of medicine at Baylor College of Medicine and I'm here to talk to you about a revolutionary new way of approaching asthma in children. If we can get kids to do good asthma tests, we can predict at least a substantial number of those asthma attacks and treat them early before they need emergency room care. Now we know that kids can do this. We also know that they tend not to. So we said to ourselves, could we in some way hook up a breathing test with a mobile device in such a way that the kids would want to do tests on a periodic basis? I'm Chase Sandman, lead programmer. Ron Gaberkel, visual artist. Hi, I'm Eric Lee, and I'm the project manager. Hi, I'm Pierre Elias, health consultant. And without further ado, we present... Asmo the Dragon! Asmo travels between different game worlds to attack civilizations. Flicking the screen zooms into the world. Swipes move you back and forth. Watch out for humans below. They can attack at a moment's notice. As Asmo travels, he will come across buildings to attack. Tapping initiates melee. Each civilization has unique structures to overcome. As they evolve, buildings get harder to destroy. Earn gold and experience by destroying these. Spend it on improving skills. Make Asmo the strongest. So what makes our game special? Asmo the Dragon incorporates a spirometer, a special lung function measurement device, into the gameplay. Most asthmatics are used to using a peak flow meter, a plastic gauge that gives them the peak expiratory volume. People have looked at this over time and found that the peak flow meter is really not that great a predictor of asthma attacks. We know that if you do a single breath spirogram, that there are some subtle changes that occur that we can measure which are very early predictors of decompensation in asthma. This is Mobile Spiral 1.0, a prototype created here at Rice University by the Mobile Warp Group. This open access spirometer is able to take information and connect it to either PCs or phones. This is a laminar flow tube specific to spirometry. It's able to take airflow and directly input it into this device so that it's able to create the pressure sensors that give a spirometry reading. Eric here is going to showcase to you how the spirometer is used in the game. The top right corner, that's actual real-time feed from the spirometer for the pressure sensor. So then Eric is going to breathe into the spirometry tube, and then we're going to see it on screen. So go for it. Three, two, one. <sighs> Builds up the fireball. You can see his spirometry right there, and he shoots out the fireball. Additionally, this information can now be sent wirelessly. Imagine a child in a small African village with respiratory problems. They could complete spirometry maneuvers every day and send the information and data packets as small as a single text to the closest doctor in the major city. Upon review, the doctor could decide if the respiratory problems were serious enough to bring the child to the hospital in the city. With that in mind, we believe Asthma the Dragon combats two of the UN Millennium Development Goals. Number four, reducing child mortality, and number six, combating widespread disease. So we know that spirometry is extremely valuable, but how do we get kids to take an interest in adhering to their regimens? That's where ASMO comes in. Combining RPG elements with the global timer mechanic found in Farmville, we've been able to create a game that keeps kids on schedule and entertained in the process. As you destroy civilizations, you can only end the battle by charging up your fire breath. Yeah, this is way better than ASMO. Once it's ready, the user must complete a spirometry maneuver in order to reign supreme. By making asthma management fun for youth like Jasmine, we're imagining a world where technology helps solve the toughest problems.